Kalasa, welcome to your favorite entertainment show on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky. It's a wonderful day. Please, Obi Mani Me. Yes, Obi Mani Me. That song has been playing in my head like for like three days now. So please, Ike, if you have that one from. <laughs> All right, I hope you got all your fashion tips right there. It's for all the October balls. We are so special. Don't hate. Let's move on and talk about Kwaukese. Kwaukese has released a song. It's actually a banger. And it's not just a banger. It's actually a diss song, Banga to Shatawale. What's going on in the industry? Is this what we want? Well, Kwaukese is actually explaining uh, what the Pokum song is about, why... Uh, he had to record that particular song for Shatawali. One who said Pokum, that's what he said. Let's listen to Kwao Kese. We, we all want to support each other, but okay. if somebody disrespects you... Does he uh, have to come and apologize because you feel disrespected? Yeah, I feel disrespected. You know, and um, I don't need him to come and apologize. But you can go I and... want him to tell his fans to reason up what they are there because... Mm. You know, me, my fans never insult anybody's mother. Yeah. But I can show you, like today, hundreds of them, hundreds of tweets, your mother, your mother, yeah, 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 as convict and all that. Oh, the, uh, the fans of Shatawale doing yes. that? Yes. Because he started it. Okay. He, he was like me, Kwakese, if you don't get sense, if you don't, you don't get sense, oh. Kwakese is poor, Kwakese is this. And the fans take it. So when it happens like that, even if he is, this, if he is not doing it, the fans are the doing fans it. The fans are doing it. So I will not sit down and watch people just insult me here and there. Definitely. So I will give it to them back. And giving it to the fans is giving it to Shatta. Yeah. So he has to come out and stop these things. He, it's not me alone. It's not my fault. Shatta has fought with Sarkodie, Stoneboy, Samini, Ponobiem, Obrafo, Tic Tac. He's, he has disrespected everybody, media people, DJ's Chatter House. He has even disrespected Ghana itself. He has disrespected pastors, churches, and all that. And has disrespected himself. Such a person don't need anybody's respect. I am the war and the peacemaker. A1 bread, my hammer, big figure. My heart is there with me that in Tija. What I'm really doing, I'm a master in Tija. 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 I'm a master in
Let's talk showbiz. So later on tonight on Ewe Bex on Joy Prime or Multi TV, that particular interview uh, will be aired. You should join me. Let's talk showbiz. Let's move away from Kwakase and Shatawali and talk about Lord Paper. When's the last time you heard from Lord Paper? Well, he says that you people have been calling him a porn star. Is he a porn star? Why are you people behaving like that? Well, he's been speaking on Hit FM with Andy Dusty, and here is what uh, he said. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't actually have sex. Uh, it was just the kissing and the touching that was real, but for the sex, no. Oh, are you denying it? Because I've heard you on several platforms saying that, yes, you had sex. And... Oh, then I was lying. I'm telling you the truth now. We didn't have sex. And the lady claimed you had sex with her? No. That's what she said? No. No, she's never said that anywhere. Well, I've heard her saying that. But she's lying. Drink, I don't smoke. Do you do drugs? No. I don't do drugs. But no, people, you look like someone that uses drugs. <laughs> yeah, I know. You, no, you look, you look. I don't, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs. I know, I've had... So I, no, people, look at me and tell yeah, me. Yeah, I don't do drugs. No, I want you to look at me in the eye. Yeah, sure. Tell me. I don't do... <laughs> You say you don't smoke. I don't smoke. I don't drink. You don't take pills. You don't take no. tramadol. No. These, all these medications. You don't. No, I don't. No paper. I don't drink. I don't smoke. What about the girl? Let's talk showbiz. All right, away from Lord Paper, let's move all the way to the United States of America and talk about Tracy Ellis Ross. You know her uh, from, well, I know, because I'm talking about Tracy Ellis Ross, I just changed my tone. Am I actually sounding like American? No. Let me just sound my Ghanaian and just move on and talk about Tracy Ellis Ross. She is happily single. So, all of you out there trying to push her to go get married or be in a relationship. She's 45 years old and she says that she is happily single. So get off her back. Me too. I feel like some of it plays into this larger story of the expectation that that is what women are supposed to do or like, why aren't you married yet? And it's like, well, first of all, like my life is fine. Tracy Ellis Ross is 45 and happily single. The star of ABC's Blackish opens up about her personal life for InStyle's November cover story, sharing that she's content with her life just as it is. Quote, it's sort of fascinating to be 45 and single and childless. Happily single, I should add. Not at home crying about it. I'm very pleased with my existence these days. Have I had to learn to make friends with loneliness? Yes. I think if I were in a relationship, it would be the same. The Golden Globe winner also gets real with a mag about self-care and learning to say no. The I woke up like this thing? Bull****. Blackish is in HD, darling. There's no Vaseline on the lenses. At 18, I might have woken up like this. At 45, I f work for it. I take care of myself. And by the way, to me, self-care does not mean going to the spa. It's learning to say no. It's knowing yourself so you can make choices that are an expression of you. That's self-care. Ross also opens up to the magazine about her childhood and growing up the daughter of legendary singer Diana Ross. It was very different being my mom's child. The attention was on her. I was an extension of someone that people loved. But finding my own, my own take on all of that and my own version has been a really fun journey for me. Quote, it's a lot. It's not navigable without a parent who is choosing you over everyone else. I grew up the way Blue Ivy is growing up, although at least there wasn't social media. In 2014, Tracy opened up to E.T. about the confidence her famous mama instilled in her. My mom gave me the courage to really not shy away from who I am, sh not shy away from wh what I love, not shy away from um, being seen, you know, nothing wrong with that and sort of owning that. I have quiet and delicate and small moments too, but you know, there's always a time for a little glitter. Let's talk showbiz. Thank you guys for staying tuned. Thank you for always supporting Let's Talk Showbiz here on Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky. Thanks to my able production team. And if I don't see you were here for me, I love you so much. I love you too, Fruit. 
And also, Ike, thank you so much for always, always supporting us. Join us same time tomorrow for even more thrilling edition of Let's Talk Showbiz. I'll be right here.